Piaget uh, asserted throughout his entire work that cognitive and intellectual change are the result of a developmental process. Here in this diagram, you see a continuum of development. Now, Piaget thought that this developmental process was a coherent process and that it was formulated upon uh, the uh, changes associated with your cognitive structures or your schemata. Now, each schemata changed, deriving logically from the one before it. Now, here we see little Rusty and young Rusty and middle Rusty and old Rusty, and there are all sorts of changes going on. And Piaget observed his children, which first caused him to formulate his theories, and he began to put forth stages of cognitive development. Now, the very first of those stages that he had was the sensory motor stage, which was birth to two years. Now, in the sensory motor stage, he was talking about the infant up to perhaps two years old who differentiates themselves from other objects, and they see themselves as an agent of action, and they begin to act intentionally. You ever had a, had a child reach out and, and uh, pull on the nose or cry when they wanted something? Piaget put that in the sensory motor stage, and during this time, they begin to develop what is called object permanence. They realize things continue to exist even when they're no longer present to the, to the senses to be touched. Have you ever thought about the old game of pea pie that you play with an infant? You cover their eyes, and then you pull them out, and there you are. Well, that's a really powerful stage for a child that doesn't have object permanence. In other words, no wonder they're so amazed when they find that you have returned you vanished, you were gone, you no longer existed. And then when they open, you move your hand, there you are again. Now, the stage after the sensory motor stage, which we will spend some time on each of these, of course, is that of pre-operational. Now, during this stage, Piaget said that that's roughly age two to seven. Now, of course, you understand Piaget was not uh, nailing these down in concrete and said it had to be a specific day that every child transitioned from something, but he gave general ages. And in the pre-operational stage, the child learns to use language and to represent objects by images and words. Uh, the thinking, of course, is egocentric, which means it is very self-centered. And they have difficulty uh, taking the viewpoint of others. They classify objects by single feature group all things together, regardless of shape, perhaps based upon their color. The stage after pre-operational is that of concrete operational, which is roughly 7 through 11 years. Uh, during this time, children begin to think logically about objects and events. Uh, they have conservation of number. They begin to understand mass and weight and those type of things. But they classify objects according to several features. Uh, in other words, they have develop the ability to handle things at a more complex level. The next and last stage of this, which Piaget identified, was that of formal operational 11 years and up, in which they think logically about abstract propositions, they test hypotheses, and so on, and, and things like that. And they become concerned with the, the uh, hypothetical, the future, ideological problems. If you look at this, Piaget had basically four major stages of development. The sensory motor, the pre-operational, the concrete operational, and the formal operational. Now, his idea was with this that the one stage is absorbed by the one that comes after it. In other words, you begin to develop more complex relationships with the schemata, you begin to think, you begin to analyze, you begin to reason, and that's, that's what he pointed out with those areas, those four stages of cognitive development. Now, we're going to spend a lot of time in this class going through the four stages and understanding them more thoroughly. Good luck. More good things are to come.